Now, before we get started, it's important to remember that a lot of these exercises are challenging and not suitable for everybody. So feel free to modify them as we go along. Now let's get started by lying on our backs. And we're going to begin with a gentle warm up and finding our neutral spine. So pressing the lower back into your mat and now arching the back until you feel a curve. Let's repeat this a few times, combining it with the breath. So breathing in and breathing out. Repeat this a few times and then you want to find somewhere in the middle and this is called your neutral spine. Now reach your arms above your head and stretch. Float them back down towards your sides and we'll repeat. As you reach the arms back, you're going to curve the spine. As you drop the arms down, you're going to let the spine go back to neutral. And again, reaching the arms back, curving the spine and exhaling as you lower the arms back down. Next, we're going to wake up the neck by tucking the chin into your chest and lifting the head and then lifting the chin up and reaching back. We're going to repeat this a few times. Breathing in as you lift the head and tuck in the chin. And breathing out as you lift the chin up to the ceiling. And repeat, breathing in, curling the head up. And breathing out, lifting the chin and looking up to the ceiling. Now, putting your hands behind your head to protect your neck and bending your knees. We're going to breathe out and curl the upper body off the floor and exhale as you lower back down. Breathing in as you roll up and breathing out as you roll back down, lifting the chin. Pull your knees in and hug them. And if you like, you can tuck in the chin again for an upper back stretch. And repeat, breathing in as you curl into your knees and breathing out as you lower back down. Placing the feet back on the floor, you're going to lift your legs to your tabletop position. So that's a right angle with the legs. Make sure the knees aren't too close to the body or the feet aren't too close to the ground. We're going to start with some toe taps, dropping the toes down to the floor very gently and smoothly as you pull in the lower abs. You can combine this with your breath. Make sure you maintain a neutral spine throughout. This exercise is designed to warm up the hips and wake up the abs. Keep checking that your spine is in the neutral position. If this exercise is too challenging for you, you can modify it by placing both feet on the floor and then lifting one leg at a time to your tabletop position and lowering back down again. Squeezing the abs as you lift the knee. And combining with the breath. So you breathe in as the knee comes towards you and out as you place the foot back down. Now let's get started with the 34 Contrology exercises. We're going to begin with the hundreds. So reaching your arms back and bending your knees in. I'm going to curl the upper body off the floor, extend the legs, reach the arms forwards. We're going to do 20 pulses, followed by 30, and finishing with 50 to make 100. 
off we go. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Roll back down and we're going to repeat again, but this time doing 30. Rolling up and breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Roll back down. Now we're going to do our last set and go up to 50 this time. Off we go, rolling up. And in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Engage your abs. In two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Engage your abs, keep the legs straight, and finish rolling back down with the arms behind you. Moving on to our next exercise, we're going to do the roll up. So reaching your arms up as you roll your body off the floor. Then stretch towards your feet, pulling your navel into the back of your spine. And then rolling back down vertebra by vertebra, stretching your hands above your head. We're going to go three more times. So breathing out as you roll up, reach your fingers forward, exhale, and then roll down through the spine. Head is the last thing to touch the floor. Breathing in and breathing out as you roll up reach those fingers go for a deep stretch forwards relax the head down and articulate the spine as you roll back down to the floor and now one last time rolling up reaching the fingers forwards dropping the head curving the spine as you roll back down and stop there Now making sure you have plenty of space behind you and to your sides, our next exercise is going to be the rollover. Begin with your legs extended to the ceiling. You're going to lift your hips off the floor as you reach the legs behind your head, open them out, circle them and bring them back together as you lower back down. So we're creating a big circle with the legs going outwards and then joining back in the center as you lift the hips off the floor and then lower back down through the spine. We're going to do a few more circling the legs outwards. Hopefully you'll have a bit more space than I do. And now we're going to reverse the movement, circling the legs inwards. Keep your hands flat on the floor. This exercise does require a lot of space, so do be careful that you're not going to bump into anything. Now pull your knees into your chest and hug them. Moving on now to our leg circles, you're going to extend one leg, hold on to it, keeping the knee stretched and have a deep hamstring stretch before we begin. Keeping your hips on the floor. Now you're going to bring your leg across your body. So if it's your left leg, it will reach towards your right shoulder. Then you're going to circle it around and bring it back to that spot. Keeping your other leg firmly on the floor and your hands pressing into the floor either side of you. And now circling the other way, trying to keep your hips nice and still. You'll notice the abs have to work quite hard for this movement. Don't worry about height, it's much better that you keep the circles smaller but more controlled than go for height and lose your placement. Now let's try on the other side. So you can now lift your right leg up, hold onto your leg for a hamstring stretch. And now bring your right leg over to your left shoulder. And off we go with our circles, dropping the leg down and around. And again, two. And 
three and four and the other way four three two and one and close to finish now tuck both knees into your chest and we're going to rock forwards and backwards gently until we're sitting tucking the chin into your chest now with the feet off the floor you're going to balance tuck your chin into your chest roll back down as you inhale and then as you exhale find your balance again we're going to repeat tucking in the chin rolling back inhale and exhale to sit back up again this exercise is called rolling like a ball and you should be massaging the spine as you roll back and then engage the abs to find your balance rolling down and sitting back up find your balance keep the toes off the floor repeat rolling down and rolling back up again breathing out curving the spine and then freeze as you hold your balance now lying back down on the floor we're going to do our single leg stretch pulling one knee into your chest and lifting your forehead towards your knee we're going to inhale and then exhale as you swap legs keeping the upper body off the floor and keeping your extended leg floating off the floor too and inhale and exhale maintaining this curved shape of the upper body towards the knees and now relax on the floor to give the neck a rest Pulling your knees into your chest, we're now going to go for a double leg stretch. Extending the arms back and the legs forwards and then circling them both in towards each other, combining with the breath. Make sure your feet don't touch the floor and we're going to try and keep the movement as smooth as possible. Now for our spine stretch, sitting up with the legs apart, sit bones in the floor. As you exhale, you're going to reach the fingers forwards, relaxing the forehead to the floor. Then roll back up through the spine until you're sitting nice and tall. We're going to repeat this three more times. So breathing out as you reach the fingers forwards, keeping the sit bones pressing down into the floor, and then articulate the spine as you roll back up. And again, two more times. Exhaling as you reach forward, really reach through the fingers. And using your abs to roll back up vertebra by vertebra. And one last time. Exhale, reach the fingers forwards, go a bit further this time. And roll back up gradually. Now moving on to the open leg rocker, making sure you've got space behind you. We're going to lift the legs off the floor, hold under the calves, extend the legs maintaining your balance, drop the chin down into your chest as you roll back through the spine, lifting the legs behind you and then sitting back up and using your abs to find your balance. We're going to repeat again, exhaling as you roll back, the legs go behind you, sitting back up and holding your balance. Breathing out, dropping the chin, massaging the spine as you rock back again hold your balance right up on the sit bones curve the spine as you roll back and then holding that balance before you relax next we have the saw so sitting with the legs open the nice tall spine extending the arms to the side you're going to reach your baby finger of your right hand towards the baby toe of your left foot we're going to pulse three times doing a soaring motion reach back out to the side and repeat with the other arm and leg reaching the opposite hand away from you you can combine this with the breath so breathing in and breathing out as you pulse three two one sitting back up stretching the fingers 
and breathing out three, two, one. Sitting up tall on the sit bones and reaching. Pulse three, two, one. Sitting up tall, we're going to do one last set. Three, two, one. And our last one. Three, two, one. Now bring the legs together and roll back down onto your back. We're going to do corkscrew. Extending the legs to the ceiling, keeping them together, we're going to create a circular motion going around either clockwise or anti-clockwise, your choice. And we're going to do this with the hips off the floor and the feet circling behind the head and dropping down and around again. The feet never touch the floor, they're always just floating off the floor. And now going around the other way, going to the right shoulder, circle one, keeping the legs stuck together. You can use your hands to stabilize yourself. And last one, four. Rolling back down and relax. Now we're going to prepare for the swan dive by lying on our front legs stretched out behind you, hands by your shoulders, and you're going to push the upper body off the floor, lifting the chin up to the ceiling, and then lower back down. So this is to stretch out the back. As you lower back down, you're going to extend the legs just off the floor. Pushing up again, and now we're going to add a slight rocking motion. As you lift the body off the floor, the legs go down. Now stretching your arms to the side, we're going to repeat this with the arms off the floor. So we're rocking forwards and backwards, combining with the breath. And now relax. Push back into child's pose to stretch out the back and relax the forehead down to the floor, reaching the fingers forwards. We're now going to take the sphinx position stretching out through the chest and we're going to begin our single leg kicks so lifting the upper body off the floor and we're going to kick one leg in and then stretch it as you lower it back down we're going to alternate and do this eight times keeping the neck long and stretching the leg down as you lower it as you pulse the lower leg up we're going to feel this in your hamstrings. Maintaining the sphinx position at all times. And relax down. We're now going to do a double leg kick. So placing the hands behind you, head on the floor. We're going to pulse both legs at the same time. We're going to do four on each side. So that's two, lengthen the legs down. And three, reach the toes away from you. And four. Now let's switch the head over and we'll repeat four times again. Turning the head again, we're now going to do our double pulses with an extension of the upper body. So after you pulse the legs, we're going to reach the arms back, stretch through the chest, and lower back down, swapping the side of the head. Pulse again, reach the legs, reach the hands back, and lower back down, and two more. Reach and stretch through the toes, through the arms, and last one. Reach and pull open the chest, and lower back down. Stretch back into child's pose and rest. Now moving on to the neck pull, we're going to start sitting with the legs stretched out, hands clasped behind the head, then tucking in the chin, and we're going to curve the head towards the legs. As you come up, you're going to extend through the neck, pull up tall, keep reaching and elongating the spine, and then curl back down to the floor, vertebra by vertebra. We're then going to sit back up again, reversing this movement, curling back up, 
you can use your hands here if you need to and then we'll repeat so reaching the forehead down towards the legs as you sit up extend the spine sitting nice and tall keep reaching and then roll back down through the spine vertebra by vertebra until you're on the floor and sitting back up again engaging the abs rolling up curving the chin down extend through the neck and reach the upper body forwards relaxing the head down extending through the spine and rolling down one last time and now rolling back up breathing out and one more stretch forward to finish sitting tall and relax moving on make sure you've got plenty of space behind you we're going to begin by lying down lifting the legs up and over behind the head and holding onto the hips with the hands lengthening through the spine we're going to extend one leg up to the ceiling and then swap this is our scissor exercise your hands are holding your hips very still so the legs are moving within the hip socket. Keep breathing and control the movement of the leg, lowering down gently to the floor. And remember, this is not about height. From here, we're going to go into bicycle. So bending one knee and extending it as you swap. You want to imagine you're pedaling the wheels on a bicycle. So one leg should be bent as the other extends and lengthens. Then alternating each side, always keeping the legs off the floor and holding onto your hips so your spine stays nice and long. Keep breathing normally. Now bring the legs together and we're going to roll down through the spine, vertebra by vertebra, until the tailbone reaches the floor and relax. Next, we're going to look at the shoulder bridge. So starting off in a normal bridge position, rolling up through the spine. You can place your hands by the hips if you want the extra support, otherwise keep them by your sides. Extending one leg to the sky, you're going to kick the leg down and back up. And as the leg lowers down, it's hovering off the floor. Keep an eye on your hips, making sure they're not tilting or dropping. Now bend the knee in and we'll repeat on the other side. Extending and lowering one and up, two and up. Check the hips. Keep a diagonal line from your knees all the way to your shoulders. And last one, bring the feet together. Roll back down through the spine, vertebra by vertebra until the tailbone touches the floor. We next have the spine twist. So sitting up with the arms extended to the side, we're going to rotate the upper body and pulse for two. Come back to the center and repeat on the other side. We want to combine the breath. So breathe out as you pulse, breathe in as you come back to the center. Keep the legs extended in front of you and lengthen through the spine as you pulse, reaching through the fingers. And last one, and relax. Now, rolling back down onto the floor with your legs extended in front of you, arms by your side. You're going to lift the legs up and over your head. This is our jackknife. As you roll down through the spine, remember to go down vertebra by vertebra and really extend the legs behind you as you lift them over the head. And again, lifting the hips and roll back down. Bend the knees and relax. Moving on to your side for our side kick, you're going to prop yourself up on your elbow, feeling lifted underneath. And then keeping that feeling of lifting the ribs off the floor, you're going to lower the elbow down and prop your head up. 
with your other arm in front of you to stabilize you. You're then going to kick the top leg forwards with a flex foot and backwards with a pointed foot, trying to stabilize the hips and maintaining that lifted feeling under the armpit. Now sitting up, we're going to go for a stretch. Find your mermaid's pose and reaching your left arm up and over the head as you curve towards the right foot. And we're now going to swap sides for our side kick. So repeating everything on the other side. Find the lifted feeling under the rib cage, lower the arm down, stabilize yourself, extend the legs, and now bring the top leg forwards with a flex and backwards with a point. We're going to need to engage the abs for this and it's going to require quite a lot of balance. If you do want an extra challenge, the arm that's stabilizing you and touching the floor can be placed behind your head. Finding your mermaid's pose again reaching the right arm up and over towards your left foot. Next we have the teaser. So sitting with your shin bones parallel to the floor, extend your legs and your arms, and then roll the upper body backwards, arms behind your head, and sit up using your abs, reaching your fingers towards your feet. Repeat again three more times. You want to keep the knees straight and find your balance in a V shape with the body every time you come up. Then hold the balance and relax. Next we're going to move on to our hip twist or hip circles. With the legs extended up, hands supporting you and chest open, we're going to circle the legs round clockwise and then we'll repeat this anti-clockwise. So keeping the legs stuck together and the chest open, the spine long, engaging the abs and you can combine the breath here if you like as well. And now let's reverse the other way, so anti-clockwise with the legs. Keep the neck long and the shoulders down as much as possible. The lower you drop the legs, the harder it will be. Moving on to swimming, lying on your front, legs and arms extended. You're going to float your legs and arms off the floor along with the head and then lower back down. Now we're going to do the same, but this time you're going to raise your left arm and right leg higher and then right arm and left leg. So we're paddling the arms and legs, working in opposition. Keep the neck long and head raised off the floor. And now we're going to increase the speed, so going slightly faster, lengthening through the toes and through the fingers. You want to keep the core very still and strong whilst the legs and arms move in opposition. And then float everything back down and push back onto your heels and stretch out in child's pose. This now leads us to our leg pull to the front. So finding a plank position, making a long line from the top of your head to your heels, hands underneath your shoulders, you're going to lift one leg and pulse twice up to the ceiling, engaging your glutes. Alternating each leg, you're going to do this a few more times. Try to keep your hips very still, so you should imagine your hip bones facing towards the floor as you do this, and you're lengthening and extending the leg as you pulse it upwards. Keep the neck long, and try to maintain this straight plank position throughout, even as you start to get a bit tired. And push back to relax. Now, flipping over, we're going to move on to our leg pull to the back. Extending the legs, pushing the hips off the floor, you can choose which hand position you prefer, so either fingers facing forwards or to the side, making sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your neck is long, 
you're going to extend one leg to the sky and lower it down before you alternate to the other leg. You'll feel like the hips want to drop down to the floor so it's important you keep them lifted so you maintain a straight line from the top of your head down to your feet. Keep breathing normally and relax down. Now kneeling on one knee with the other leg extended to the side, we're going to do our side kick kneeling. Extending the arms and reaching one hand down with the other behind your head. Lift the leg up and you're going to kick forwards and backwards. As the leg goes forwards, you're going to flex the foot. As it goes backwards, you're going to point the foot. You want to keep your core nice and still. Keep breathing normally and try to maintain your balance throughout so the movement is smooth. Place the toe back down, kneel back up, extend the arms and we're going to swap over to the other side. Personally, I find this one of the hardest exercises as it requires a lot of core strength and balance. So repeating the movement on the other side, kicking the leg forwards and backwards in a smooth, controlled manner, and then kneeling back up with the arms extended. Let's carry on now with our side bend. So lying on your side, pushing yourself up on one hand, make sure your hand is directly below your shoulder, and then your feet parallel one foot in front of the other. Reach one arm up and over, then drop your hips down, open the arm and look towards your fingers. And repeat again four more times. So lift the hips as the arm goes above your head, drop the hips as you lower the arm to your side. And repeat. Try to keep your hip bones facing the front and keep breathing normally with a nice long neck. Now let's swap sides. So position your feet one and foot in front of the other hand directly below your shoulder, lift the hips up so you make a straight line and then arm above the head, hips drop down, reach the fingers towards your toes and repeat. Try to keep this movement nice and smooth so you don't drop the hips down with a thud. And finish. Now before we move on to the boomerang, we're going to do a nice deep stretch with one leg placed on top of the other and reach your fingers towards your feet. Repeat again with the other leg on top. This is going to give you a nice hamstring stretch and back stretch. So make sure you have plenty space behind you. We're moving on to the boomerang. You're going to rock back, lift the legs up, switch them, find your teaser position balancing on your sit bones. Lock the fingers, reach them back, then reach the arms up and over your feet. And we're going to repeat again. So rock back, lift the legs, switch them, roll through the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Balance in your V-shape, reaching your fingers to your toes. Lock the fingers, reach the hands back, lengthen through the spine and reach towards the feet. And let's repeat again. Rolling through the spine as you rock back. Squeeze the abs as you switch the legs. Find your balance. Reach the arms back, bringing the chin towards your chest. And reach over the feet. And let's go again, rocking back. Switch the legs. Roll through the spine, find your balance. Reach your fingers to your feet. Curve the upper back. Drop your chin to your chest as you exhale. Reach your fingers towards the feet and lengthen the spine. Now bring your feet together. Open your knees and bring your arms under your legs, reaching your forehead down towards your feet. Finding your balance, lifting the feet up, you're going to clap them together. You're then going to rock back with your feet above your head. Clap them three more times. Sit back up and we'll repeat. This is the seal. So, rocking through the spine, it should feel like a gentle massage. You want to hold your balance with the feet in front of you, and then again, as you rock back with the feet behind your head. And relax. Next, we have the crab, which is quite challenging. 
across the legs, hold on to your toes, lengthen the spine, then drop the forehead down to the floor, pushing your weight onto the top of your head, still holding onto your toes. And now gently you're going to rock back, lift the legs above your head, swap the feet, hold onto your toes again, and then rock back up again. We're going to repeat this movement. So gently place the weight onto the top of your head, rock backwards, switch the feet. This is not an exercise for a complete beginner. There's a long process in order to be ready for this exercise. So if you are relatively new to Pilates, please avoid this one and make sure an instructor has guided you through it before you try it yourself. Now, as you place the weight onto the top of your head, lift your stomach, engage the abs, and massage the spine as you rock back, find your toes, and repeat one last time. Now, sitting back up and relax. Next, for rocking, we're going to move onto our front. Bend the knees, hold onto your toes, and now lengthen the spine, lift the head off the floor, lift the knees off the floor, and you're going to rock gently forwards and backwards. Keep breathing normally and make sure there's no pinching in the back. And finally, release. For our penultimate exercise, we have control balance. So, lifting your legs up and over the head, holding onto your hips, or if you like, you can hold onto your mat or one of your legs. You're going to extend one leg up to the ceiling and lower it back down. Then if you are holding onto your ankle, you're going to swap to the other leg and repeat. Make sure that you breathe normally throughout, that there's not too much pressure on the neck you keep the hips nice and lifted and that the movement of the leg extending and reaching to the ceiling and lowering back down is nice and smooth. Just a couple more. And now rolling back down vertebra by vertebra and finally lower the hips, lower the tailbone and drop the legs down. And for our final exercise, we have push-ups. Standing up, and you're going to roll all the way down to the floor, vertebra by vertebra. Walk the hands forwards until you're in a plank position, making a straight line from the top of your head to your heels. Bending your elbows, you're going to lower your body down and back up again. We'll do, you can do three or four push-ups here. Then walk the hands back to the feet, tuck the chin into the chest, and roll back up with the knees bent. We're going to repeat this. It doesn't matter how low you go in your push-ups. What's important is that you maintain your alignment. You can also modify this exercise by doing your push-ups on bent knees with the feet raised. We're going to repeat again, so breathing out as you roll down, walk the hands forwards until you're in your plank position, lengthen through the spine, push up one, push up two, push up three, and now bend the knees, walk the hands back, tuck in the chin and roll up with bent knees. We're going to do one last push-up. So rolling all the way back down, walking the hands forwards. This time, see if you can go a little bit lower. Maintain your alignment, keep the elbows tucked in. Now walk the hands backwards and we're going to finish with a downwards dog stretch or a pyramid stretch. 
So lengthen the spine, push the hands and feet into the floor. Now walk your hands back, bend the knees and roll up to finish. Well, that is the 34 Contrology exercises by Joseph Pilates. I hope you enjoyed them and don't forget to check out my other videos.